What's going on, guys? This is Aaron from Departures Capital, and we're here with Nico Kakos, CEO and President of Blue Sky Uranium. How are you doing today, Nico? I'm doing well, Aaron. Thank you for having me on your uh, on your program. Yeah, it's a pleasure to have you on. So can you start by giving us a quick introduction to Blue Sky Uranium and telling us a bit more about the company? Yeah, Blue Sky Uranium, uh, as, a, as the name states, is uh, focused on uranium. We have uh, a very, very unique uh, uranium discovery in Argentina that is not simply just a deposit, but in fact, we have uncovered, discovered rather, an entire new uranium district, a district that represents a corridor about 145 kilometers long by 50 kilometers wide, which we control all of that 100%. And what's unique about this, uh, th this uh, district is that the mineralization that we've analyzed to date has the same characteristics as some of the world's largest and lowest cost producing regions in the world, like those that you find, especially in Kazakhstan. Uh, so it's a very unique discovery. And uh, I think it positions uh, Blue Sky, you know, sort of a little outside of uh, our peers. Yeah, that's great. So, you know, what's your background in the industry? I have a uh, master's in business. Um, prior to that, I studied chemistry. But uh, my background, I've got 30 years of experience in uh, strategic uh, advising and, and, and corporate, uh, you know, um, uh, directorships and uh, officerships in, in various uh, junior mining uh, exploration companies. And uh, I've been doing this for quite a long time now. So <laughs> That's great to hear. You've got lots of experience. So, you know, at what stage of development is Blue Sky Uranium? With Blue Sky, we have now already discovered a deposit within this entire district. The deposit sits at about just over 23 million pounds of uranium and about 11 and a half million pounds of vanadium. And it sits at the bottom um, of this, at the edge of this trend, the southeastern portion of it. We just now, the, we completed, subsequent to that, we completed a preliminary economic analysis, a PEA, or in other words, just a, an economic uh, assessment of it. And what, we've did, and what the study showed us was that if this project, just the Ivana deposit in itself, was in production today, it would rank amongst the lowest cost producing mines in the world. And that is a very good uh, starting point, you know, when anywhere, when you're starting with any deposit to know that you have such a low cost profile. So our next stage right now is we're trying to show the scalability of the project. In other words, is there more uranium than what you've already got? And we have launched uh, a large exploration drill program that covers about a 30 kilometer radius around the Ivana deposit. And we've identified targets there and refined them. And we are now drill testing these targets and so we have constant flow of news that's coming out between now and to the new year and i believe that as we announce new uh uranium discovery i think we're going that's going to be an inflection point for revaluing uh the market cap of the company very exciting time for you guys so you know what are the milestones that have been achieved so far well, we have, uh, number one, we have understood the uranium mineralization, which results in deposits. So we have already defined a deposit. That's at least there's a value there now that underpins that. We have performed a preliminary economic assessment of the, of the deposit itself. So we know uh, that there's a potential viability of this project. And now we just completed an infill and step out drilling of the deposit itself. So, and the results of that will get published. Uh, well, we announced the drill results, but the results of the new resource calculation, which should upgrade both the quality of the resource into indicated and perhaps also expand the size of this resource will be known probably in the early part of uh, first quarter of 2023. And the final thing that we've done is we've identified these uh, very exciting uh, targets, especially those that we just announced uh, yesterday, uh, we, which we just got permitted for. These uh, two, there's two targets that have 
very, very similar geological characteristics to the deposit itself. So we feel very confident that you know we should be able to get some uh, some uh, good results from these uh, drill campaigns. Yeah, that's very exciting. So you know, what are the next steps as you move toward a production decision? Well, the next steps are complete our our exploration drilling, which should be done by the end of this year. Uh, and then at that point, we will have a new resource calculation, and this is all part of the first step. We we'll begin to engage in pre-feasibility studies. This is an engineering study uh, that lasts approximately 10 months. So by the end of the second quarter of next year, we should be in a position to make that production decision based on those results. That's exciting. I look forward to covering that. So, you know, what should investors look forward to in the coming year then? Well, in the coming year, look forward to a new upgraded resource at Ivana. Uh, you know, hopefully it'll, it looks like uh, there's potential that the resource will increase, plus the exploration results, which should be coming in in the next few months here. I, I believe that with positive exploration results, we have an opportunity to add significant pounds to this. And as we move into pre-feasibility study, um, I expect to be in a position where we're going to attract the attention of some larger uh, uranium mining companies uh, that will have an interest uh, to partner up with us in order to move this project to production. Yeah, this is an interesting project. So what are your financing requirements? Well, our financing as an exploration company, we always have financing requirements. Uh, it's just like research and development. We don't have an income. Uh, so we have been funded until now. I believe we're going to be uh, looking for additional funds to complete the new expanded uh, drill program that we announced yesterday, and second of all, to be able to ensure that we have enough funds to complete the uh, uh, the, re the new updated resource calculation. Great. So, you know, where should listeners, prospective shareholders, anyone looking for more information, where should they go? A great resource is our website. Our re we try to keep it as up to date as possible with a lot of information. If you have questions, all our contact information is there. You can reach out, send me an email, Sean Perger, our uh, Director of Investor Relations. We're always happy to engage and to answer questions with uh, all, in, all interested investors. Great. Well, thank you so much, Nico. Obviously, you know, the uranium sector is a very important hot sector right now. So best of luck. And I look forward to covering the company. Thank you. If you like these videos, kindly hit that subscribe button and the bell for notifications. Drop us a comment down below. We'd love to hear from you. And finally, always remember Departures Capital is for information, education, and entertainment purposes only. Don't buy or sell a stock because you heard it on here. Buy or sell a stock because you've done your research, you've done your thorough due diligence, and you're making your own personal investment decisions for yourself. This video is not financial advice. Furthermore, this video may or may not have been sponsored by the companies that we've profiled within this video, and we may or may not own shares of any of the profiled companies in this video. If you want to know the full disclosure details, check the description down below along with thoroughly reading our disclaimer. Thanks so much for watching guys and I look forward to seeing you in our next video.